guys, what is up? It's Fluffy Ninja from FN13Productions.com, and I've got an unboxing video for you today. Now, um, again, I usually don't do this. I usually don't use the gun and then do the unboxing video, just because I don't like doing that. But, um, Red Strike was this past weekend, so uh, I got this gun just in time for Red Strike. And... It was a gun I used all weekend, of course, and I'm going to be starting a new series with it starting this Friday. Uh, it is the Die Dam. Now, this is the new case that it comes in. Uh, I believe before it came in like a, just a cardboard box, but uh, they came out with this cool-looking tactical case. It does come with a cardboard sleeve. That's already in the garbage, so sorry I don't have that. Basically, it just tells you what you have. But uh, I picked this up. Wednesday before Red Strike comes in this nice zipper case. It's got a nice uh, carrying handle on it too. So here we go. First part of the case, uh, as you can see right here, it's got your two mags that come with the gun. I actually bought four of them before, probably about a year and a half before I even owned the gun, just because I wanted the the, the mag so I would buy the gun, and I held them for about a year and a half. So I've got two mags in here. I've got the die two-piece ultralight barrel. Comes with a little parts kit. It's got a couple pieces, an O-ring kit, some lube, Allen keys, uh, an extra little slider switch, the uh, eye pipe, and then the little eye pipe latch. Comes with a just a black barrel condom, and then you've got your warranty card. I have to fill this out and send this to die. Uh, but yeah, actually, kind of, kind of cool packaging, kind of a cool case. So I'm glad, I'm glad I waited until they, you know, they got everything kind of cool with it. So, and it's a two-part case. This part is just like, uh, uh it's like the Velcro-y material because it's got two little Velcro tabs on it. So they're gonna pull those off real quick. Make sure they don't latch back up. And then you have the die dam is in there upside down obviously but uh that's just so when you're opening the case like this you get your gun and you can see it in all its glory and stuff like that so let's take a couple of parts out here uh it's got like a foam board kind of cut out very cut it's very hard to get back in there as well as trying to get it out so might be struggling with it so there's your little clamping feed neck that you clip onto the side of it. Uh, this thing's it's actually a really nice clamping feed neck too. I I really like it. Um, it it's got you know it's it's honed very nice to let the paint just roll down in there. It's a it's just a very it's just a very good looking uh, clamping feed neck. It's got the little die tactical symbol on the side of it right there. I doubt you can see that, but uh yeah very cool clamping feed neck. Let's get the uh, stock out of here. Now apparently they came out with a new stock, new stock called the Die Ultralight stock, which is like instead of having this little door thing here where you can put like tools or O-rings or whatever, or even your feed neck, maybe no, probably not your feed neck, but you know put like a map or whatever in there, your player card. <clears throat> apparently they have an ultralight stock where it's basically just a skeletal framework. Uh, the stock is actually pretty comfortable. It's got a nice uh, rubber butt pad on it. And then to put it on, there's a little set screw in here. You take that down until it's flush inside. You slide it on the back. You screw your screw back in, and then you're. It's it's actually on there pretty tight. I I haven't felt like it's wobbled. I haven't felt like it's gonna fall off or anything like that. It's actually a really nice stock. It's really well put together. Uh, I forget. Of course, it's an adjustable stock. Uh, I'm not sure how many points. I think maybe four. Yeah, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Okay, so five five point adjustable stock, sorry. It's even got a little uh, clip on there where you can put your sling adapter, or it's got a sling adapter already on it. Alright, now the main main piece here, if I can get it out, wow this thing is really crammed in there. There we go. Okay. Let's just shut the case real quick. Put it off the side. So there's the die dam. There it is. Uh, get your little dummy mag with it. Uh, that's why the parts kit is so small, is because most of your parts and stuff are actually in here. There's even a battery in here. I haven't used this battery. I just kind of put a different one in there. Uh, it's got multiple um, detents, all the O-rings to save the world with, a couple more Allen keys, 
uh, yeah, it's just it's just got a lot in here. Like it, it really does. So the they give you an excellent excellent parts kit. There's extra screws. There's extra extra whatever else you would ever need to to fix your die dam. That was actually the first time I opened that. I thought it was going to explode. Uh, so there's your little dummy mag. I wouldn't take that onto the field with all those O-rings in it and with the tools and the screws. I just wouldn't. That's just me. Um, so it's got an ambidextrous release. Uh, power button is right there. And then you've got your mode selector. I've got it in the, the just the basic mode where it's semi, three-round burst, full auto. And then you have your eye switch right here to turn them on and off. Uh, you've got your magnetic back cap here on the dam for your bolt, if I can get this out of here. I don't know, I think I've got it in there pretty tight and I don't think I have Allen keys around me. Yep, there we go. There you go. And there's your bolt, all, you know, fresh and lubed. I lubed it probably the other day, uh, right after right after I got back from Red Strike. So, very nice bolt, very, very simple bolt assembly. Like, honestly, like to have an inline regulator and your uh, your bolt all in one piece it's actually very very simple uh, so that's actually kinda great consistency over the chronograph was plus plus or minus two maybe with first rec rounds and regular paint like when I chronoed them separately it was just wow dead on um, I did break one ball or no I broke three technically because I broke one uh, day two when I was chronoing and that sucked and then I, I kind of cleaned it out and I went back and I chronoed again and I broke another ball and I was like well it's alright so I cleaned it out a little bit more made sure the eye pipe was clean or no I didn't didn't actually delve into it I just made sure that the that the channel was clean and then when we went out and played some paint got behind the eyes and just wrecked, you know, wrecked everything, broken paint down the barrel, so I wasn't really hitting anything. I got close enough to shoot maybe like four people. I don't know if my camera on, camera was on. I think my camera was on, but it looked pretty cool. Like I ran up, shot one dude through a window at that little white house on the back of Berm at uh, <clears throat> at Blast Camp. And then I came out and I shot the two, two or three that were still sitting there. So it was actually really cool. The shrouds are all removable as, as well with the uh, the rails. I actually took the rails off because they were, you know, when you try to hold it like that, kind of messes with your hand. Uh, I put the two front ones back on so I could use my camera, my little replay. So that was actually kind of cool getting to use it like that. Um, let's see. The air through grip is very cool. I heard rumors about them coming out with an air through stock. I don't know if that's even possible for them to do. Uh, like under this little back cap, there's some knobs and stuff like that that might allow that. But I mean, you don't really need to. If you've got the stock fully extended, you can you can definitely fit a 6845 under there, or just run a remote line. I didn't. Uh, these sticky grips, you know, or not sticky grips, but just clip-in grips kind of thing where you can peel it off and put your battery in. They're already starting to deteriorate, which is not great. But I mean. Pretty sure if you send it to die and say what the hell, they'll fix it. Apparently, these nameplates are replaceable. I'm going to be doing that, hopefully, uh, so I can put some custom nameplates on there, make them look cool, make them say like Fluffy Ninja or whatever. I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, your rotating eye pipe, mag, hopper, mag, hopper. So, um, the videos that I'm going to be doing Friday. I still don't have a name for the series yet, but it's going to be something with, you know, dam and then corner, or not, no, not corner. There was custom corner by Tom, or Todd Anich, or whatever his name is, on Behind the Bunker, and I kind of want to take that show up, so give me, give me suggestions for names for that video series that's going to be the new Friday series. It's going to be something about the die dam and how I'm going to use it through the weekend. So just let me know if you come up with any cool names because I, I got nothing so far. So this has been the unboxing video of the Die Dam. It's, it's honestly, it's a great shooting gun. It really was worth the money. Um, I know there was a lot of problems 
<clears throat> when they first came out, a lot of people said that they were just breaking paint left and right. And I did see that. I did see, you know, my gun broke paint like three times, but that was because, you know, I didn't clean it after the first time. So that's my own fault. Other than that, awesome gun. Awesome, awesome packaging. Awesome, just awesome. Just awesomeness, you know. <laughs> so, that has been my unboxing video of the Die Dam. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're a subscriber, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, three new videos every week. Every week. There's, there's, there's three videos up. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, Monday is always the gear bag series. Friday is going to be the new dam custom kind of thing about how I'm going to use my dam. And then Wednesdays will be just whatever I have. Either my videos from playing that previous weekend or maybe somebody else's videos from playing that weekend. Or, you know, an unboxing video if we get new guns, it, a maintenance video if people are asking. Just whatever we can do, really. I, I want to incorporate video games back into my channel, mostly because with winter coming, that's pretty much all that I'm going to have to upload is video games because I don't go paintballing in the winter. I try and take the winter off. There's a lot of events that people still invite me to, and that's nice, but, you know, paintball is expensive. So... <laughs> I'd, I'd like a, a few months off, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, that's all I have, um, pretty sure I'm gonna do an update video pretty soon of what's going on, um, for, uh, for my damn gear bag video, I'm gonna do a gear bag video of the damn, that'll probably come out in a couple weeks, uh, just depending on, you know, if I need to fill a slot, so, thank you guys again for watching, thank you for subscribing, don't forget to like and share this video, get the channel out there, get the name out there. When we hit 250 subscribers, I'm giving away another Gorilla Air 6845 tank to whoever, whoever needs one. So thank you guys again, and I will catch you in the next video.